Okay, hello, I'm Paul Gray, I'm from Pantone. I'm just going to demonstrate the, the brand new Color Monkey products uh, from Pantone and x -Rite. So the uh, intention of the product, it's a personal color tool. It enables you to uh, manage color, to create color, um, to calibrate your monitor, calibrate your printer, calibrate your projector, to uh, measure ambient lighting, all in a single device. Um, it's totally revolutionary, new product, nothing in this price range with all these features is available on the market. Um, so what I will do to begin with, uh, I'm going to calibrate the device. Um, the different functions on the device are accessed by rotating this wheel. Um, so in order to calibrate, um, I just need to turn to uh, this position, um, select calibrate from the menu, and then it will take about 20 seconds to calibrate the device. Okay, so the, the device is now calibrated. Uh, if I close that and I will open a uh, palette of colors. And now the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to measure color and how to capture color using the device. So if I turn the, 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 the wheel, so that this is pointing to the bottom, and then I'm going to measure some colors. Um, so if I just place this over the color, uh, and it should, there we are, it's, it comes in very quickly. And if you look at this area of the screen on the right hand side, it shows you the LAB data and also the sRGB data for that color. Um, down here, if you select similar, it then tells you what colors from the different color libraries which are installed uh, are, are similar. If I come to the bottom left hand side of the screen, um, we have an option and we can snap to different colors. So if I select Pantone Coated, now when I, when I select each of these colors, it will tell me what is the nearest Pantone color and it's also given the LAB and the sRGB data. Um, if I deselect the snap to, but on the right hand side of the screen, um, we have a feature called print safe that uh, gives you information about how well these colors will reproduce in four color process printing, for instance. So if I select the Fogra ISO printing profile, you'll see some of the colors disappeared from the screen. That is because those colors will not reproduce in CMYK. So if we now, if I now select, uh, take the print safe off, you can now view all of the colors. If I select the, go back and select the snap to Pantone, uh, you'll now see that each of the colors, there is a upper triangle, which is the standard for that color. Um, and then on the lower half of the screen, what you can see is how those colors will reproduce when they're printed. So if I select the ISO coated profile, uh, this, this shows you what is the nearest match that I will achieve to the um, ISO uh, printing profile. Um, so that is a, uh, just a simple demonstration of the um, capture and also just showing the print safe uh, function um, over here, you can sort your palettes by different categories. So for instance, we can sort by luminance, uh, we can sort by category, um, we can sort by uh, name. So we have a, a variety of different ways of uh, looking at the color. If you select the synchronize option, then it will synchronize the colors um, to your color swatch libraries in your Adobe applications, in Quark applications, or in Corel. Um, so, uh, but that gives you an idea of how you can use this software to create color and how to capture color. You can also use the device to profile the display, which I will now demonstrate. Um, so, if we uh, select profile my display, 
Okay, it just takes a moment or two to load the software. Okay, and uh, I, we have a number of options. Do I want to profile a projector, a laptop, or an LCD screen? I've, I've selected laptop, and I've selected the simple option, the easy option. Uh, if I now select next, um, in order to attach the um, device to the screen, uh, there is a carrying case which also doubles as a, a device for mounting the uh, calibration unit onto the display. You'll see that the, the, the strap is weighted, um, so that will uh, act as a counterbalance. So now, in order to calibrate the monitor, it says place color monkey here. So if I now uh, feed the cable behind, hang the strap on the back, and then select next and what it is now going to do is it will read through the uh, different color standards, RGB color standards um, takes around about two minutes in order to complete the profile okay so it's, it's completed the uh, readings uh, if I now select uh, I, can, I can choose here uh, how often to be reminded to recalibrate the monitor I've chosen four weeks, but you can turn that option on or off as you wish. But we recommend it should be re recalibrated every four weeks. Uh, then select next, and it shows you a before and an after. I think I ran this this morning, so uh, it's not, not a big difference. Um, so I have now calibrated the display.